But we begin with that sad story of one couple who lost their lives in an early morning house fire. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sophia Ojeda. And I'm Andy Sirota. We're also learning more about the husband and wife from their own son. A neighbor also shared this video exclusively with Channel 2, showing the intensity of the fire along Woodchurch and Spring Bridge. This is in the Inverness Forest subdivision. Channel 2's Brandon Walker spoke with the couple's son. Brandon, a tragic morning for this family. And most certainly, Andy, good morning to you. Sophia, good morning. And that son telling us his parents were Betty and David Kelly. And while fire investigators are still trying to figure out what caused this fire, the son tells me it's believed his mother was in the kitchen trying to cook something, causing the house to go up in flames. Oh, my God, that's Dave's house. Oh, that's Dave's house. A smoldering shell is all that's left of what was a lifetime of memories for David and Betty Kelly. I've known him forever. I knew Betty and Dave a long time, yeah. Neighbors remembered the couple killed in their home as it burned. They were 81 years old. Horrible. Flames lit the night sky so strongly even firefighters had to wait to get in. Once they did, Dave and Betty were already gone. It was kind of like uh, leaving the beer with mom and dad. It was, uh... it was the couple's only child, Dane, who asked that we not show his face. The only place he knew growing up. Dad and I fished a lot. Uh, rode motorcycles together. Dane says his dad worked as a salesman. Mom Betty ran the house. Then over time, the couple grew ill. Uh, she had a stroke several years ago, and then she couldn't talk. Which mom would talk to anybody, nobody would straight stranger. Dane wants to remember the memories, for they will last. Kind of like his parents' relationship, he says. 55, 60 years. 55, 60 years as husband and wife. This morning, while they parted in death, they did so together. Met, got married two weeks later, and married ever since. And back here live, while the investigation into what may have caused this continues, one thing is certain, and that is the house is a total loss. We're live this morning in North Harris County. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And Brandon, our condolences go out to the couple's son. Thanks so much.